never faltered, and that's a good sign. Well, this team has yet to hit their stride this season. They did do enough, obviously, to get to the final, but they have yet to find the ease in their programs that they had last year. The reigning world bronze medalist sits in fourth place after the short program, a couple of points back of third. side of the rabbit hole is a triple twist. Clean, not super big, not known for a big twist. Off to a good start. And here comes their really big element, the side-by-side -side triple lutz. Only team in the world to do one. In this case, hopefully two. Incredibly difficult move though, Curtis. You can see where one mistake leads to another. Megan had to catch up to Eric, and the tension seems to be in the air. It's a Grand Prix final. struggling a little bit with that uh, triple cell but I have to say I can see some improvements in this program from the last time we saw it in the program component score which is what they've been going after and they're there those little touches are there this season that lift at the end of this the program they seem to be getting stronger the more the music runs along
spins just can't quite get back on. There they are, and in the last minute of your program, when you have a clean skate, it's always the hardest. Oh. And you just can't keep the concentration to the very end, almost to prove a point. Just a little problem at the very end of the program, and that's what it feels like at the end of the season. Everybody's just wanting it too much. And this team has never stepped onto the Grand Prix podium before. Uh, two points back of third after their short, so they will need some help from their rivals if they're going to do that today. Well, they are the elder statesmen of Paris figure skating for Pang and Tong. This will be their final season of competitive skating. Fukuoka, Japan is a five-hour high-speed train ride west of Tokyo and we're watching the Paris competition for the Grand Prix final with you and one Canadian team just skated and Carol you saw some improvements in Duhamel and Radford's free. Yes what I liked in the program was I saw some character development in the use of the arms and the heads very nicely done I thought. Another highlight was the throws the two throws in the midpoint of the program were absolutely excellent but the program definitely marred by many mistakes. Megan dissecting the scores, their performance, as she always does in the kitchen. She crying. always does. Yeah. <laughs> she does.